Tori here, and so I know what you're thinking. It has been a hot minute since I've posted a makeup tutorial, so I'm here today to change that. This look that I'm gonna show you guys how to do today is one that I actually posted on my social media a few weeks ago and got an overwhelming number of requests for a tutorial. So ask and you shall receive. Speaking of social media, if you aren't following me on Twitter and Instagram yet, links are in the description, so come hang out with me and watch me be weird on all social media platforms. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. So this look is actually surprisingly easy. It requires only one eyeshadow palette. I'm using the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And there really isn't too much eyeshadow blending or skill required to do this. So, to start with, I'm gonna take the orange color Slow Burn and I'm gonna put that all over my lids. And so for the next step here, I'm just gonna take a NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Cottage Cheese and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my eyes. This is gonna act as a lighter base so that when we put the pink eyeshadow, it's gonna look a lot brighter and shimmery. I'm gonna take the color Savage, the hot pink, and put that on the inner corner of my eye, right above where we just put the Jumbo NYX pencil. And you'll wanna blend that just a little bit into the orange so that there's a bit of a gradient effect on the inner corner of your eye. Next, I'm just gonna put a blue eyeshadow on my lower lash line. So I'm gonna use the color Fringe, but really any of the blue eyeshadows from the Electric palette would look awesome. I'm just gonna line my waterline with a black pencil. Time for some winged eyeliner. I'm also gonna highlight under my brow using a silver shimmery eyeshadow, so I'm using Revolt from the Electric palette. Now I'm just using my fingers because I'm lazy and don't have a brush with me right now for that color. And as per usual, just apply your mascara as you normally do. The routine for the rest of my face always kind of stays the same, so I'm kind of boring in that way. So I'm using my Dolce Pink Milani blush along with my Park Ave Princess Bronzer from Tarte and my Anastasia Glow Kit. And since the eye look here is clearly very colorful, I'm just gonna tone it down with my lips and use a more neutral color. But you know what, hey, if you're feeling bold, go bold, girl. I'm just gonna use Jeffree Star Mannequin today. Alright you guys, well that is it for this makeup tutorial today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And as you can see, even though this is a pretty bold makeup look, and it definitely makes a statement, it's really not that hard to do. So let me know if you guys recreate it in the comments below. I would love to see your renditions of it. You can tweet them to me at Tori Kravitz. And also let me know what kind of makeup tutorials you want to see in the future, because I definitely want to do more. So thank you guys for hanging out with me, and as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye!